It's very he's, dramatic stuff. He's also in the fortunate position of the stakes being higher for the other party. If Ted Cruz wins, even if it's remarkably close, it, it'll be a sigh of relief, um, but it'll still be remarkable that a Democrat came so close to him. If, if Beto wins, it'll be the upset of the night. It'll be all we're talking about for weeks and weeks. And if he loses, I think he'll still have crafted some sort of playbook for Democrats to run on in red states. What, what, what are they saying in the state about the stakes next Tuesday night for both men? Well, I've, I've only gotten here. I'm not going to say I know more about this state than the, the brief 24 hours I've been here. But it's, it's clear that he wants to win. This isn't some uh, moral victory he's after. He wants to win and should. This is like Jack Kennedy early in his career taking on the heavyweight Henry Cabot Lodge. One way you get your way to the presidency is beat somebody big early on or halfway up. And so he needs to win. I, I don't understand people that say you can run for other offices after you lose. I don't get that. I've never <laughs> seen that before effectively done. I, d I don't know that part, and neither do you, Nicole. There's no such thing. Winning is how you do it in politics. You win at one level, then you go to the next level. That's how it works. Or if you lose at one level, you try again for another statewide office like governor or the other Senate seat. You win there, then you move on. That's the way it's been inside politics. Now, if you're outside of politics like Trump, the rules don't apply. You don't have to win anything to run for president <laughs> and win. Let me get your That's thoughts, Billy. Really. Uh, you're absolutely right. I want your thoughts, though, on, on the, the events.